¿Ahí venían ustedes? ¿De dónde vienen? De Morelia, ¿de dónde van? No le pasó nada al niño. ¿Quién me está ahí? Ah. Este, ¿No agarró el freno o qué? ¿Dónde estaba el tra... Ah. side down low to get going for the turn oh. and what ends up happening is that he got stuck back up there turned around tried to take another move going down guys and the back end started to come around and that started the chain reaction he was uncomfortable being in the top lane he tried like you said there, there's there's the car and there's two cars that are here this this puts that's a well racing in perspective this is the horrible accident that everybody has, has always hoped would never occur As we said, 15 cars we now know of involved out of 
of the 34 that start this 15 car melee. And Eddie, as we know, when you're driving along at these speeds, you're going the length of a football field in less than a second. So if something happens in front of you, you can never have enough reaction time. It, it, it's, it's impossible. You have no time to do anything. What happens maybe is just a small miscommunication between two drivers. Somebody spins and you have 20 cars that arrive on the scene. It's very difficult to try and avoid it. And as Dario was mentioning, he's just looking forward, trying not to hit the car that's in front of him or subsequent cars that are there. And luckily for him, he got through before everything started to go just upside down. But it's also where you position yourself on the track. He was saying, he just said in his interview, he hated being around cars that he was in. The drivers are put into position. There's nothing they can do. And here it's in slow motion, but you can see how it arrives. And the parts are going everywhere. And it's a driver. You're trying to miss the large pieces of the cars themselves. And parts are falling out of the sky. You really don't know where to go or what to do. And if you escape this and you get through it, you sort of pinch yourself when you're on the far side of it and said, I made it. And unfortunately, some did not. Managed to make it through. She's on the lower part of the track, which was a good position to be in, but she has a bird's eye view of everything from here. And as we heard her say earlier in this telecast that she thought things were just getting a little bit crazy. She had eased off the throttle, not something that race car drivers do, but she just felt uncomfortable. Something and turned around and just gave herself a little bit more breathing space, which is something that worked out very well for her. Charlie Kimball's view, he was in the middle lane had nowhere to go. And a car went right over the top of him. And there's another car flying over the top. And, and literally, I've been in these accidents, there's nothing you can do. Once it starts to happen, the momentum has to just play itself out. Last angle on this that we will show you as... It's very painful to watch. It is. It's just it's heart wrenching. You, you know these people as competitors as sometimes they're angry with what you say about them on the air but trust me when there's a these moments there it is right there and catch the compact or the impact you were talking about scott cockpit towards the catch fence any word that